Today we're going to show you how Pops and Bangs works on the Julia 2 liter. So to explain how Pops and Bangs works on the Julia and with this tune calibration, we're going to go through and show you how it works when the car is sitting in neutral and then also what it sounds like when the car is rolling on the road. For starters, this is controllable. How we do that is by modulation of the throttle pedal which we put in to the tune so that you can turn it on and off essentially on deceleration. How this works, for example, in neutral if you want to do pops and bangs when the car is sitting, like at a Cars and Coffee or a car show, something along those lines. You're going to want to put it in neutral and you're going to want to switch to dynamic mode. In this mode, you'll be able to rev up with the throttle pedal and then once the car is decelerating, you'll give the throttle pedal a slight tap. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Not enough to apply throttle to actually move the car forward or to raise the revs, but it's a slight tap. while you are tapping the throttle is you are activating the exhaust overrun with specific settings that we have programmed into the tune one for fuel and one for ignition timing now these conditions only happen whenever you are tapping the throttle and on deceleration there are no other scenarios where these settings for fuel and ignition timing are going to come into play now what's important to note is that we are not dumping massive amounts of fuel into the system to achieve pops and bangs this is a very moderate amount of fuel and a very moderate amount and use of ignition timing in order to make these sounds happen. But overall, you're not going to see or hear the pops and bangs at any point while driving the car unless you are on deceleration and unless you are applying this light tap of throttle in order to trigger the exhaust overrun. For the best results for pops and bangs, you're going to want to drive in manual mode. When you are driving in automatic mode, there's no chance or way for you to decelerate effectively without the car downshift. In this case, when you let off the accelerator pedal, you're going to hear a slight pop, slight burble, but only for half a second, and then it goes away. In manual mode, you will hear the same, unless you apply the throttle tap that we have previously described. I do not recommend pops and bangs for people that either A, do not enjoy the sounds that we're showing to you, or B, have a muffler on their exhaust. The muffler will muffle the sounds quite heavily and you will not be happy with the results. I think that covered everything. 